again. Jim, are you ready for the next portion of their meeting agenda? Uh, Chairman, yes. I believe the new agendas have been distributed out amongst the uh, audience, and uh, I believe you all have the new agendas. Thank you very much. So I call this meeting to order. Roll call, please. Clerk of the board. Certainly. Commissioner Baker. <sighs> Present. Commissioner Bodek. Here. Commissioner Garrison. Here. Commissioner Kowalski. Commissioner Leone. Here. Commissioner Mirabella. Present. Commissioner Williams. Here. Vice Chairwoman Palmieri Muded. Here. And Chairman Granados. Here. Chairman, let the record reflect you have eight commissioners present for this evening's regular meeting. Thank you very much. Clerk of the board, please lead us in the prayer and salute to the flag. Humbly bless God, the giver of peace and lover of charity, to give the entire family of nations true agreement with his will, and to grant the light of his spirit on all who work for justice and peace. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Clerk of the Board, please read the statement in compliance with the Open Public Meetings Act. The Chair wishes to announce that pursuant to the requirements of New Jersey Statutes Annotated, Title 10, Chapter 4, Section 10 of the Open Public Meetings Act, adequate notice of this meeting, the Board of County Commissioners of the County of Union has been given by mailing the annual meeting schedule for the year 2023, along with periodic changes necessitated by circumstance to the newspapers circulating within the County of Union who are designated to receive such notice mm -hmm. and by posting the annual meeting schedule for the year 2023 in the administration building and further by filing the annual meeting schedule for the year 2023 with the office of the county clerk thank you very much may I have a motion to approve the communications so moved mr chairman may I have a second second the motion was made by commissioner mirabella seconded by commissioner williams clerk of the board please call the roll commissioner baker aye commissioner bodek Yes. Commissioner Garrison. Yes. Commissioner Leone. Aye. Commissioner Mirabella. Aye. Commissioner Williams. Aye. Vice Chairwoman Palmieri Muded. Aye. Chairman Granados. Aye. Chairman, let the record reflect. You have eight votes in the affirmative on all the communication. Thank you very much. The meeting is now open to the public for the purpose on commenting on, re oh. Oh, on commenting on resolutions being offered for adoption and or any governmental issue that a member of the public feels may be of concern. Come and state your name and town of residence for the record. And if speaking on a resolution on the agenda, please note the resolution to which you're referring and adhere to the five minute time limit. Move this board. <laughs> you yeah, could. Do. Just don't break it. it seems to be Start the clock. Let's go. Good <laughs> <laughs> evening, ladies and gentlemen of the board uh, and Dr. Garrison. Uh, Bruce Patterson, Garwood, New Jersey. It, it seemed out of order here. Is back there. Anyway, Reso 628 is a savings of twenty-five thousand dollars from Shade Environmental for a hazmat remediation at the courthouse uh, tower, and I appreciate the explanation by the director about it. But uh, the question is, the public is aware of around eight New Jersey Department of Health PIOSH violations in the county complex, which describe major detriments to the health of our county employees in their workplaces. Um, New Jersey demands that the work be done by August 10th or face $7,000 a day penalty each. Uh, why isn't this $25,000 remediation savings being put towards this work to expedite New Jersey satisfaction? And what is being done about it? Uh, Rezo 655 is extending a contract for an additional five years of voting machine storage at Liberty Transportation and adds over $900,000. And I appreciate uh, Director Dorado explaining that in depth. But my question is, adding five more years to a lease for common warehouse space uh, built for, I guess, this stuff uh, for $900,000 is really ridiculous. This possibly violates open public bidding laws and should really be going out for bid. Uh, there are plenty of other storage facilities that might be able to accommodate it. Uh, and also, how much square footage are we actually uh, renting? Uh, Rezo 667 increases a legal contract by $150,000 to $530,000 to politically connected law firm Dakotas Fitzpatrick in reference to HC Equities versus Union County. And 
I guess th that and Reso 668. Hang on, let's see. Because I know. Uh, oh, no, okay. Well, something must have been resolved because you guys changed the resolutions around, and Reso 668 uh, was originally withdrawn, and a new resolution for HC equity, Equities is, is now back on the uh, agenda. And I'd just like some explanation of what exactly is going on here. Um, and, that, and that's it for the resolutions. General comments, and it has come to the public's attention that Finance Director Bibby Taylor has received a PhD in education. Uh, this came at the expense of the taxpayers' money and resources as she probably used some of her county work time for school business. Page 74 of the County Employee Handbook states the county allows and will pay employees to enroll in degree programs, but specifically also states that it is to provide career development in an area related to the work they perform for the county. Uh, an education degree has nothing to do with finance. So what she has done is in total violation of the county regulations. And she did it right under your noses, which should be a complete embarrassment to you since you allowed this violation. Uh, this commissioner board is shown to be a failure at governance. Instead, just letting the county political bosses, such as Senator Scutari, allow their politically connected people have their personal advancement to undeserved riches and largesse as taxpayer expense. Many are elevated with no specific experience. The public recognizes this travesty about Taylor, Oatman, Durbin, Bergen, Hudak, Mirabella, Sullivan, Stender, Devaney, Cryan, going even back to Cody, Mingo, and Scanlon. So many times internal promotions could have been done but dismissed. And we haven't even mentioned the myriad of patronage jobs given to relatives over more experienced potential candidates. It's like a corrupted clown show, Boss Scutari being the ringmaster. Uh, still outstanding, by the way, a public question Council Bergen was to respond to was the total legal cost to date for the Figueroa versus Union County lawsuit going back 15 years. And finally, uh, on a happy note, <laughs> my, my wife and I, uh, we renewed our passports uh, the other week, and we went down to the county building, and uh, unfortunately we had form DS-82, uh, County Clerk Rajapi will understand this. DS-82, which is a mail-in form in lieu of a DS-11 uh, hard copy. But anyway, the gentleman there at the counter, he actually helped us out uh, explaining this. And uh, he actually took our pictures. And, and then he also stapled the uh, little photos to the DS-82 form and gave us uh, an express mail pack to send it in. So I mean, I appreciate it that he was very helpful. I did not get his name, but he was very helpful. So thank you very much. Thank her. <laughs> Even T-Mobile was telling you that. Look at that. <laughs> For number 628, Director Graziano. Sure. Um, through you, Mr. Chairman. Um, yes, we have. Um, we do have some POs violations. We are addressing them as they come in. We will never put any of our employees in harm's way that we know of, and we're addressing them all. They will be. They will all be um, remediated as soon as possible. Thank you very much. In reference to number 655, Administrator Dorado, just in reference to how much space. Sir, can you please turn that off? Through you, Chair, our lease agreement um, is for 3,218 feet of office space and 2,500 square feet of warehouse space. Um, this, we have had a relationship with Liberty prior to going in, and I think when we have to ensure the security um, of our election equipment, having that relationship there was important. At the time, we were given three months to purchase equipment and find a space to put it. Um, we've had a great relationship going forward. And um, pursuant to NJSA 4811-5, um, 1AL, this constitute an exception to public bidding. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very much, Mr. 667, 668, County Council. Thank you, Chairman. Um, these are related. Um, the added on uh, item 668 is, in fact, settlement of a longstanding lawsuit at terms very favorable to the county. Um, 
as I often tell the board and the public, um, this was a business decision. It, we did have a strong case. We litigated this for many years, unfortunately, um, getting rid of most of the plaintiff's counts. But it was certainly in the county's best interest, uh, as determined by this board this evening, to enter into this settlement. 667 is merely uh, allocating money to pay the attorneys who worked very hard on this case. We're preparing it for trial, but uh, made it possible for us to settle the case. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you very much. Seeing no one else, I'll formally close this portion of the meeting and ask for a motion to adopt resolutions 2023-623 through 2023-676. So moved. Second. Right side coming in. I like that. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Motion was made by Vice Chairman Kimberly Palmieri Mudad, seconded by Commissioner Bodak. Clear the board. Please call the roll. Commissioner Baker. Aye. Commissioner Bodak. Yes. Commissioner Garrison. Yes. Commissioner Leon. Aye. Commissioner Mirabella. Aye. Commissioner Williams. Aye. Vice Chairwoman Palmieri Mudad. Aye. And Chairman Granados? Aye. Chairman, let the record reflect eight votes in the affirmative on all resolutions. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll be moving on to Commissioner reports and comments. I'll be starting to my left with Commissioner Baker. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> the Union County Board of Commissioners invites seniors and their caregivers uh, to Union County's Ask community events in July and meet in person with professional staff for expert guidance on senior programs and resources. The ASK program um, can connect, oh, all right. The ASK program can connect them with a variety of, of services including uh, home delivered meals, respite care, home care, adult daycare, and support services for caregivers. No appointment or pre-registration is needed. The upcoming ASK events in June all uh, include bilingual assistance in Spanish. Um, so the, these next events um, are scheduled for Wednesday, July 19th at the Elizabeth Public Library uh, from 2 p.m. to 12, uh, 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, Monday, July 24th at the Plainfield Public Library, uh, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. And Friday, July 28th, the Roselle Public Library from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. For more information, contact the Division on Aging and Disability Resource Connection at 1-888-280-8800. Uh, or visit uh, online at ucnj.org-dhs-aging. Uh, and that concludes my comments, Mr. Chairman. Thank you much, Commissioner Baker. Commissioner Mirabella. Yes, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. The, the Union County Board of County Commissioners are, are very proud to announce the partnership with the Prosecutor's Office and the Union County Police Chiefs Association in partnering uh, on Union with Union County Crime Stoppers to re reduce car thefts and burglaries in Union County. And uh, First Assistant Tansy, I appreciate uh, your partnership directly, Prosecutor Daniel. And you mentioned the, the license reader earlier, and that's really going to help, I think, a lot uh, moving forward using technology to, to fight crime here. And I appreciate your, your proactive stance in this. The partnership will allow members of the public to anonymously report tips about these crimes. Union County Crime Stoppers will offer rewards for up to $10,000 for information that leads to the arrest and indictment. Union County Crime Stoppers offers rewards for information resulting in the arrest and indictment of criminal offenders. Tipsters never need reveal their names, whether they call the 24-hour hotline or submit a tip via the Union County Crime Stoppers website. The Union County Police 
in, in cooperation with the Union County Prosecutor's Office and the Police Chiefs Association, receive and coordinate all tips submitted to the Crime Stoppers program. Anyone with information about a car theft, burglary, or any crime is urged to call the Union County Crime Stoppers at 908 654 TIPS 8477 or submit a tip via the website uctip.org. Tips, again, are submitted anonymously. And uh, with that, Mr. Chairman, we'll conclude my comments tonight. Thank, Thank you very much, Commissioner Marabella. Commissioner Williams. Thank you, Chairman. Um, first, I want to congratulate Dr. Taylor on her accomplishment. Um, and also, uh, just to add that, you know, I wish there were a way that when people make specious and slanderous accusations um, that they would be called to answer for them. Um, um, in other news, um, we are indeed pleased to announce uh, that we are seeking additional residents who would like to apply to volunteer uh, with uh, our Union County Rape Crisis Center. Uh, these volunteers provide guidance and support for victims of sexual violence. Um, there are training dates in the fall um, from September 12th to November 2nd, 2023 on Tuesdays and Thursdays in the evening from 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. Uh, no previous experience uh, in counseling uh, required, but there are uh, a few other requirements. Um, you must be a Union County resident, 18 years of age, have your own transportation, have a valid driver's license, undergo a personal interview, and participate in a 40 plus hour state mandated uh, training program. Once trained, the Rape Crisis Center volunteers answer calls uh, to the Rape Crisis Center hotline as certified confidential sexual violence advocates. They provide additional, they provide medical and uh, or legal guidance in person by accompanying victims at hospitals, police departments, courtrooms, and other locations related to the aftermath of sexual violence. The training sessions are held at the Rape Crisis Center offices, which are at 300 North Avenue East, right there in Westfield. If you're interested, if you know someone else who is interested, please share this information. Um, you can contact the Union County Rape Crisis Center at 908-233-7273 or via email at rcc at ucnj uh, by August 25th. So uh, we wouldn't be asking for volunteers if we didn't need them. So again, please pass this information along. And uh, again, congratulations, Dr. Taylor. Uh, thank you, Chairman. Thank you very much, Commissioner Williams. Commissioner Dr. Angela Gerritsen. Sure. So this evening, or summer is in full swing, and we are all excited to enjoy the outdoors and the weather and all of the summer activities. For more information or listings on what's going on in our county, please visit the Department of Public Works or visit www.ucnj.org forward slash parks or call 908-527-4900. One update I want to share is last week there was a, um, there was a, I guess, I don't want to say it was a march, but it was a demonstration that was in support of Haiti. It was well attended by several people in this county and beyond. I was very happy to participate in that. Um, and I want to congratulate one of our employees, Charlene, who was very much instrumental in that. And I'm just very happy I was able to participate. Those are my comments for the evening. Thank you very much. Commissioner Bodak. As Commissioner Dr. Garrison said, summer is now in full swing, and safety is a part of that. Um, the, this Board of Commissioners invites the residents to participate in the 2023 Choose Your Cover program, which is a free statewide skin cancer screening awareness and educational initiative taking place on Saturday, August 5th from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. at the Ponterosa Farm Park located at 1600 Cooper Road in Scotch Plains. This event is free and is open to all, but a pre-screening survey is required to schedule a skin cancer screening. 
to promote sun safety and help reduce the risk of skin cancer. Personal, personnel from the Union County Office of Health Management and Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center will be on site for the August 5th event to provide free skin cancer screenings and help residents learn about the choose your cover message. <coughs> Overexposure to the sun is a health risk for people of all ages and races. Before heading outdoors, a few simple precautions can protect your skin and lower your risk. To schedule a free skin cancer screening, call the Union County Office of Health Management at 908-518-5622 or 908-518-5678. Thank you very much, and that concludes my remarks. Thank you very much, Commissioner Bodek. Commissioner Leon? Yes, thank you. Um, last week, Chairman Sergio Granados and I had the chance to cheer on participants of the Lions Charity Run at Union County's Matano Park. This run is a, an annual fundraising event that is organized by the Lions Club, an international service organization dedicated to serving communities for those in need. The run is typically held in various locations around the world and it aims to raise funds and awareness for charitable causes supported by the Lions Club. This year's run raised money for those affected by war and natural disaster in advance of the Lions International 2023 convention that will be held in Boston. The initiative, initiative serves as an important platform for raising funds and increasing awareness about important social issues and promoting volunteerism. It not only provides financial support, but it also helps build strong networks of individuals and organizations working together to make a positive impact in society. We, in closing, I would like to thank the Elizabeth Lions Cuban Club, Elizabeth Portuguese Lions Club, New Jersey Multicultural Lions Club, and the Hillside Lions Club. Thank you, that is all for tonight. Thank you, Chairman. No problem. County Council? Nothing tonight, thank you, Chairman. Thank you much, Vice Chairwoman. Thank you, Chair. <clears throat> the Union County Board of County Commissioners, in conjunction with the Town of Westfield, invites residents with special needs to participate in Paint by the Pond on Saturday, August 12th at 11 a.m. Uh, at the Mindawaskin Park in Westfield. Paint by the Pond is hosted by the Union County Office for Persons with Disabilities and Special Needs and welcomes residents with all special needs of all ages. This event is free to attend and residents are all welcome to attend, but spots are limited and pre-registration is required. To pre-register, residents should visit ucnj.org forward slash OPDSN dash REG. And that is all I have for this evening. Thank you very much. Thank you. So I have long commentary to speak about tonight. Just wish everybody a happy summer, happy July and August. Um, with that said, we have a motion to adjourn. So move this, have a second? Second. Come on, this side. Se right. Second, right. second. All in favor? <laughs> Aye. Aye. All right, meetings adjourned. Thank all you. Right.